Lightning. Yeah, we look great. It's the yeah. best we ever looked. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn this on. Uh, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. it. No. God. Why do we have to have our faces in it? <laughs> so dumb. This is okay, like, this we got is a halo. Uh, this is interesting. Cops gonna pull us over. Like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, what the fuck? Are you Podcast. Guys doing? All right. So, Eric. Yes. What episode is this, Chad? This is episode one hundred and twenty-eight. Slimercast, and we just left Wichita, Kansas. We are on our way to Weston, Missouri. And uh, yeah, we had a really good night. That was, uh, to say, I was, I was, uh, that was beyond my expectations tonight. Why? Why are you saying? I don't know, because we, the last time I think we came here was on a week night, right? During the pandemic. Yeah, during the pandemic. In October. Yeah. And uh, I guess they had a fill in guy running sound who didn't really know how to on the board but no that was comedy night yeah it was comedy night right I guess they, they kind of fit us that's right they kind of squeezed us into their schedule and where there normally wouldn't have been a man so he wouldn't the last guy left, they weren't able to run our in-ear monitors which we were kind of uh, uh, reliant on now basically with the, our current gear so we weren't expecting to be able to use our in tonight but Scott the actual sound guy was there tonight and, and just relieved all of our concerns immediately. First thing he asked us, I didn't even have that. none of us had to even bring it up. <laughs> Do you want to use your ears? Yes. Thank you, Scott. And our eyes. Yeah, that was... Uh, eyes. I don't know how he... I guess that must Speaking be... Speaking of eyes. Rose that, that way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm reading your text. He's getting some strange in Wichita, you know what I mean? I was just, <laughs> I was just impressed that it's not a question that sound guys normally ask right off the bat. And at least in my experience. Yeah, they usually go, do you come here often? Yeah. <laughs> That's their open. Um, no, but back to the comedy night. It really, comedy night is generous. They were using, uh, they were using iPads and iPhones and, and devices to read their fucking jokes off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that a comedy night? No, that's no. reading off a fucking phone. That's not comedy night. No. So, yeah, but uh, Justin, the owner of Barley Corns in uh, Wichita, Kansas. Uh, and the Shamrock. And the Shamrock. And Jerry's. And Jerry's. And what's the other one? Uh, the so Bear. The fourth one. No. no. Anyway, uh, he, he, he's every single time. Now, our friend John Werner who's probably listening today. Hi, John. And uh, Colleen. Uh, he's... Uh, John's the reason why we're playing in this venue. And very, very, very pleased to have made that connection because just wonderful room, great people, and, and, and a f- uh, really uh, hip music town. A uh, lot of restaurants. A lot of, lot of restaurants. So many restaurants. Just beyond... Ridiculous. Yeah, what they need, but great food and very cultured. I, I, I gotta say too, the the women in we had about four or five waitresses. We had we had time to kill, so we hit a bunch of restaurants today. And uh, uh, the waitresses in every single one of them were so spunky and lively and funny and just yeah. and, and really good at their jobs too. Yeah. So we ate at the Anchor. If you're ever in. Wichita, Kansas, eat at the Anchor, Jerry's Bar and Grill, and also go to say hello to Kimmy at Jerry's Bar and Grill because Kimmy used to work at Molly's in yeah. Houston, and all of them. She saw us at Tomball, totally McGuire's, Conroe, she, Conroe yeah. everywhere. So she's been everywhere. And uh, she, um, and then Kayla, and but just everybody that we met today was just beyond, right? Yeah, I mean, Roach. Yeah, thank you. And Jerry's kind of felt like a Molly's. Yeah. Which was interesting. Great, great PA in there as well. I was shocked. Yeah, the real stage and uh, house drunk in there. House it looked really nice. Yeah, Mapex cool. was good drum set. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good drum set. Mapex, edit this part, Chad. I'm really yelling loud. <laughs> <laughs> He's grinding. Grinding. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the great town. Really, and you know, we used to make fun of Kansas because. You know, does it carry on my wayward son? Yeah, we used to drive for however many hours it was, and just you wouldn't even have to blink, you wouldn't have to open your eyes. You just set cruise control to 90, fall asleep, and you wake up 
and you're, you know, hopefully you're out of it. But it was just, but I tell you something, that is a gem. We met a, a, the, the, the door guy tonight, Neymar. 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 He, uh, he is a, uh, he is from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. We said, that's where we're going. And uh, I asked him, I said, why did you, why did you pick, you know, why did you end, you know, you're, you're from Omaha. We love Omaha. Why did you leave? And he said, Wichita is a great town. Great food, great people. Same with the same thing we said. So, top, top, top marks. Yeah. Very cool. True. True. And also, uh, uh, we also f- uh, figured out some of these uh, red dirt country guys are, uh, uh, they need to take the tree out of their name. Uh, what was his name? What? A- Andy Cap. Oh, you, you weren't there for it, Chad. Uh, John Werner. Aaron Cap? What was it? Aaron Cap. Something like that. I thought it was Andy Cap, like the cartoon. No, well, they, they, they called they, him they Andy called Cap him. to make fun of him. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, he's a wanker. If you uh, if you listen to Red Dirt, don't listen to him. Right, John? Fuck that guy. It's a hard pass. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so great room. And what about Jordan? Did anybody mention Jordan? Jordan yeah. was awesome. Jordan was awesome. She was a bartender. She was... Uh, uh, f- fun lady. She made pizza. Served cold beer. Yeah. Cold drinks. Thanks, nice to her. Thanks to her and Eric that I got to try a Casey beer dunkel, which I never had before. That was freaking awesome. I said, give me a dark beer. She said, okay. Yeah. It's very good. I, don't, I know nothing of beer, but... Uh, and also John, the barback. Our second bartender, John. barback guy. Yes. Uh, he was great. He was very friendly. Everybody super friendly. Super friendly. Up there in Wichita. Yeah. And Rick, who I I, I accidentally overcharged him. <laughs> he was buying, he, he came up, he bought a company standards. And uh, I, I had to ask, he was like, you know, that's our first record, right? I just want to make sure you're clear on which version you're buying. So, yeah, I know. And he came back again later after the second set and bought, and bought Blackmatic. Oh, that guy. And, and so, yeah. And then, then my square app was freezing up on me I kept hitting 20 and it wasn't doing anything and finally it, it clicked I was like cool and then I swiped the card and it said congratulations and I charged it it was $100 <laughs> instead of 20 I went what he's like dude what the hell <laughs> so I went and refunded him 80 and he, he was cool about it but I was very embarrassed I never had the never, never had the with the mustache either. yeah yeah he was cool he's gonna see us tomorrow yeah he's, he's coming tomorrow we will see you tomorrow in Weston or we've already seen you because this is actually Tuesday we're for people watching. Back. Yeah, it's another uh, John Warner, John Warner, uh, Warner disciple. Yeah, Werner. Yeah, he's. I, I, I think we've met Rick before. He looked kind of familiar. Chamonix. I believe he looked. Anyway, yeah, really good crowd. The place filled up pretty quickly uh, once nine o'clock rolled around. It was uh, it was nice to actually see the club, you know, cooking on a, on a re- weekend, a Friday night. Yeah, uh, I see. I see now why John wanted us to play there, and that was uh, yeah made a lot of sense. Yeah, there's there's so many there's so many great clubs that you know what people take for granted. The nice thing about the barley corns is they they're uh, they're not taking for they know that there's that, that that they've got you know great entertainment, beautiful art on the on the walls too. They really had uh, they they just have to get it's an old building. And uh, we need to we need we, uh, need to shoot it next time we're in there. It's just it's just really beautiful the the brickwork and the uh, it's just it's such an old building with such so much character and even the graffiti that they they had murals and graffiti and stuff out in the on the back porch and it was just tremendous. It, it was just well done. A, a lot of the times you know it's uh, like going to Branson, Missouri, and, and you have these these uh, sculptures. And I, you know, in quotation marks, that the uh, uh, sculptures of this, that, and the other, and then uh, you're, you're like, "Well, who's that?" It looks like it looks like Elvis Presley in a microwave, you know, it's a, or you know, you, you, you just it, it, it takes you longer to figure out who they're trying to. Uh, but this was they got Lemmy back there. They got all these uh, all these icons and stuff like that painted on the walls. And yeah, stuff. it's just really well done. Pretty cool. That guy's name. They got painted back there. Uh, they got Lemmy, and they got uh, fucking yeah. guy with the tattoos all over his face. 
Oh, the big goofy looking guy. That yeah. Like, uh, I'd like to also point out that the art uh, inside of the uh, club was a uh, retrospective of Robin Williams. Yeah, like, a, bunch yes. of, a bunch of different artists painting, painting tributes to Robin Williams, and I was very touched by that. Some of them were really, really, really good. I uh, I like the Nanu Nanu one. I took a picture of it and posted yeah. it. It was very well done. The one that was right above where a merch was, I think, was my favorite. That was just, just a kind of a photorealistic yeah, picture of him. Yeah. Kind of what he looked like in his later years. That was, was nice. I'd like the viewers at home to know it's raining like a motherfucker out it here. Is. Uh, in Kansas. It's, uh, it's, uh, we're used to this weather back in Houston because it's been sucking so bad lately. But yeah. we are... We are Gonna drive out of it, I promise you. We will drive out of it. I think we should cut this short so Patrick can see where he's going. Ah, fuck uh, it! Fuck Wait, he won't need to turn the light on. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, just, it, it, you know, we were talking about this forever. We've been, had this marked on the calendar for, for getting back out on the road, and it really did feel great to, to get back in the van and to, to hit the road. Just, just the reception. You know, be, be, people people keep saying, "Oh, we're glad you're back," and say, "Well, we didn't go anywhere. We just, you know, we, we've been in, in, in constant contact." And uh, God damn, I can't see the road now. It's like that. I can't see it. There we go. So now you can see we're dealing with people. Point out that uh, El Dorado Lake State Park is coming up on your right-hand side, everybody. <laughs> yeah. This is your captain speaking. If you look at the right, we're fucked. <laughs> the second insane rainstorm we've encountered this week. Oh, it's great. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's gone. Oh, he's back. Uh... Hey, these tires are great, Jay. Thanks a lot. ASMR portion of the show. Yeah. I like the record to show that we are doing a safe speed. We're not speeding. We're not in any rush right now. We want to make sure we get to Weston, Missouri, safe and sound for our show. That has already happened. Ooh. According to this podcast. How's that work? Are we time travelers? We are shape shifters. Yeah. I kind of like this view better. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah. We just watch the road. Yeah, it's maybe we'll see a jackalope or whatever animal is uh, native to Kansas. Uh, what else? Oh, so we picked up a gig. True. Uh, actually, the day the show comes out, we're going to be playing at the Dublin in, Oma- in Omaha, which is actually the, one of the very first shows. Probably the, this is the first, very, the first show that you play ever played with us, isn't it, Eric? Oh, me? Yeah. Eric C. Hughes. That was the very first time. Uh, that was the very first show that we played yeah. together. And when I was filling in for Mike, when his uh, son was maybe about to be born. That was right? Back, yeah. yeah. Back in 2017. Uh, that was, uh, seems like a long time ago. It was. It was my birthday on that trip. Yeah. And I have my birthday on this trip coming up in September. September, that's right. September. Do you remember? Um, oh, 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 so Oklahoma, did anybody talk about the bugs? Jesus Christ. Oh, we saw spiders. spiders. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's, yeah, we stayed in a place where the... the Keystone I, Park. I, yeah. I walked through a, walked through a cobweb as we were arriving, and then it, that spider kept trying to read both <laughs> web. But that the whole time we were there. there. Then I walked through him again later. Yeah. Same getting, spider web. I'm sure he was getting very frustrated. He got us both. He's trying, he's trying to get Patrick, but I think he missed him. Build the web. Build the web. That's all we heard all night. So, they're, they're big motherfuckers, too. They were they? fucking as big as my hand. Yeah. There was uh, one outside my window that had a fly in it, and the fly was struggling, but he got out. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. So no, I killed him. I kind of I took matters into my own hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was in, that is insane. I think all the bugs that I... Because we used to drive to Austin, you know, many, many times a month, and the car would just be just black from all the bugs. And I, I think they all migrated to to Oklahoma because it was insane, the amount that were there last night. Yeah. And they all had funny accents, too. Oh, good eye. Yeah. 
But uh, the spiders that were those that was monstrous. That was I I had one of them carry my bags to the to the van. Yeah. Hey. Tip them to give a tip. <laughs> no, that was the pla- that was the gift. Yeah. Let them carry my bag. I see. Yeah. Ugly bastard. But uh, yeah, so and then off to Omaha. We're gonna be doing um, we're gonna be doing a house concert. The yep. one, the only. Danny yep. Arts. Yep. See what I did there. So then, uh, and then we're doing the travel design lounge, which was last night for you people. That's right. And then uh, Dubliner tonight. That's tonight. Tonight. And going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? Boom, boom. And then, um, yeah, then we'll um, make a little love and then uh, go home tonight. Alright, it's a full week. Yeah. I guess that's it for now. Unless something else occurs to us later. I think that was it. Unless we want to sing them the new uh, the new version of the... Uh, uh, what, what was the song we did? The Lumberjack? Lumberjack song. Yeah. Yeah? Two. A one. Two. Mm. Yeah, we got nothing. We got nothing. Alright. Alright, y'all. Thanks for watching this very unusual show. There we go. That's the best one. There we go. All right. All right. More trucks on the road. Okay. <laughs> got trucks on the road. I got a hole in the road. I got some motherfucking tickets. I got to get on down the line. Get it, boy. Bye. Bye.